I'm Rose Alexa Rodriguez, and I want to be a teacher. Ever since I could read, I've had a love for books. I would read two and three books at a time, take them out from the library, and just binge on weekends and just read. I would read anything. Growing up in an urban area, reading was everything to me. It was an opportunity to escape, learn more about the world, just learn overall. And I was always left with that need to know what happened next and what happened to those characters and why. Today I still binge when I'm on winter break or summer break from school. I still binge read quite often. I remember being younger and reading everything from The Babysitter's Club, um, Judy Bloom, and Beverly Clearly. They were some of my favorite authors, but overall I would just read anything, um, read any type of uh, genre. Just wanted to be really filled with different knowledge and, and I wanted to just soak it all up. It was, it was one of my passions to read all the time. So I guess it's safe to say that everything started in seventh grade in Harry O'Bain School in West New York. I had this amazing teacher, Mrs. Tunick, who was my seventh grade teacher. She was just extraordinary. Everything, uh, everything about her was extraordinary. The way she had the ability to engage all her students and be so innovative. I remember you know, discussing the presidential election of 1988 and how we kind of had like many elections in the classroom and just her, her form and just her way how she engaged everyone and, and got everybody just loving everything about her. Um, I remember having uh, this thing called Word Busters, which was a play on words from Ghostbusters. And it was a way to ensure that we had proper grammar, and which was really important for us urban kids uh, to speak properly. And it's still one of my pet peeves today. And if I said something like, I don't want to go to no classroom, you know, someone in the classroom would word bust me and they would correct my grammar. And it's still something that I think about today. As far as literature is concerned, she was, you know, the way that she taught just evokes this feeling in me that makes me want to teach others about literature and, and kind of share that information. Um, she taught us literary devices through uh, music lyrics, specifically Piano Man, and to this day it's one of my favorite songs. I think that would make a great educator. I think you would make a great educator because you've always been a teacher. You have three kids, me being one of them, and you raised all of us. Every time that there was a problem or there was something that we needed advice on, you were always there to like to kind of coach us through whatever we were going through. And many teachers do that. That's one big aspect of being a teacher is being there for your students and you were there for us, you know, throughout our entire lives. Also, you're a tireless worker, you're dedicated, you're very motivated, and you can juggle a lot of things. And as a teacher, you need to be able to juggle a lot of things because you do bring your work home with you. You know, when you're grading papers and when there's you know, things going on in the classroom, you, you do bring your homework with you and you need to be able to dedicate yourself to that. And I think that's what makes a great aspect. Um, that's what that's a great quality of yours, is that you're able to juggle and you're able to maintain everything and get everything done and also be there for your students, like you're there for us as a mother. And I think a mother is just a teacher in general because you're constantly teaching your kids, you're constantly um, motivating your kids, giving them life lessons, doing their homework with them, and things like that. So you've had 20 years of experience of teaching as a mother, and I think that's why you make a great educator. Thank you. Even in high school, my love for literature never faltered. I explored short stories and different uh, genres of literature, and overall, I was just really lucky and blessed to have such amazing liter uh, English teachers that just fed my love for literature and my love for learning overall. <laughs> journey and why do you think I would make a great educator? Rosa Alexa Rodriguez's non-traditional journey has been a sign of strength, passion, and dedication to getting her to where she really ultimately wants to get, you know, wants to be. And that's as you know a teacher, a nurturer, and as an individual she has those key attributes. She's a mother, a loving wife, and again the best person that can definitely take a you know take this uh, journey on to the next level. 
and her level is of you know being a teacher and uh, a person that can share her knowledge as well as you know her love uh, amongst others. Thank you. I have had the opportunity to work at Paramus High School for the last 15 years as an administrative assistant in the athletic department. My responsibilities vary from clerical duties to managing and organizing athletic events, as well as awards, and just day-to-day -day interaction with students, administration, and parents. My years at Paramus High School have been rewarding ones. I have built relationship with some amazing people who in some ways have influenced me throughout my journey. I am also one of the cheerleading coaches at Paramus High School. I work with some amazing girls, teaching them about self-spirit and confidence. And just watching these girls grow up in front of my eyes into strong, responsible young ladies has been amazing and rewarding overall. Why do you think I would make a great English teacher? And what characteristics do I embody that prove that? Um, I think that Rosa Alexa Rodriguez would make a phenomenal English teacher because she already is so involved in education and in all aspects of it. What she has to deal with um, in her current job goes far beyond the scheduling and the managerial parts of the athletic department. She's working with the kids one-to-one -one constantly she knows how to relate to kids in a way that a lot of current teachers don't know how to relate to kids. Um, there's a likability factor with her that comes naturally with the students that the students want to work for her and want to be around her, which is one of the key to successes as an educator. Um, everything that she does has been gearing towards a degree and a eventual career in education. Um, even what she's doing right now is it's going to lead to the success that she's going to have in education. And everything that she does is is for that. Um, she's constantly working towards the degree, and um, she's going to she's so she's so ready. You're so ready <laughs> for uh, for classroom management already. You're so ready for. Um, preparation of assignments, grading assignments, time management, and you're just, everything that you do is is making you ready for your career in education. Thank you, Mark. Do you think mommy would make a great teacher? I think my mom would make a great teacher because she takes pride in her work and takes pride in her cheerleaders as well. Um, and she is very compassionate. Um, always wants to follow her dream in a very, like, she's just very compassionate in every way. She's a loving, caring mother, and she loves us all, and she's very, I don't know how to say it, but she's very, just very caring. She's like a colorful person with a coloring book. And thank, thank you, Lexi. So why do I want to become a teacher? I think there's something fulfilling and rewarding about teaching others whether it's about a piece of literature or just everyday life. I think that as teachers, we have the opportunity to change the world one student at a time and bring forth well-rounded and educated students into the world um, where they also can contribute to society. Um, while my journey has been a non-traditional one, it's been a wonderful journey nonetheless. And each day my dream unravels itself and becomes a reality, one which I'm very excited to take on. Thank you.